Hi everybody, it's Robin and I'm here with Guru and we're gonna paint. <laughs> and when I say Guru, I mean it. She's my Guru. So I am going to paint a floral. I have um, a, a dark blue color out and I, and I have these colors out, green and purple and gold and a champagne color and a dark blue. And I'm going in with the green. And I have my French manicure that it goes around three nails and then the, the other ones are painted fully. But I'm going to, see we get to talking and because I am in a, in a real shop, like I get most of it painted and then I show you guys the ending or, or partially ending. So I'm going across like this with the green, just across, just to give it, just to, if you have a lot of flaws in your French manicure, then you can cover them with leaves because it's really not that important. And then I'm mixing the gold and the champagne together to make a light gold. And I'm just gonna go in, oh, that's a little bit dark. A little bit dark and a little bit like that. And if you guys wanna see something in particular, please leave it in the comment section below for summer, for whatever you want. Um, I, I saw that somebody requested a certain way to do flowers and I will try and do that today on Evil Client. Um, it is like every time that you guys paint nails, you'll learn a new way that you like best and I'll show you like an old way that I used to paint that lets you do a lot of stuff. It gives you a little bit of less freedom, but um, if you're learning how to do something more perfected. So there's this, this will be found in the uh, flowers playlist with over 160 different designs in that one but I have at least 60 in a daisy playlist too so there's all different kinds and a rose playlist so like whatever you're looking for just search it Robin Moses daisies Robin Moses flowers on YouTube okay I'm using the wand and it is at robinmosesnailart.com okay that's all out of the way so I'm going in with a gold and purple mixed together, secondary. Purple like kind of tones down the gold and makes it more of a bronze. So it's a little bit more subdued like that. And like this. And of course I'm not doing these all perfect because I'm in a weird position, but you guys get the idea. Just lay it down. Then with the purple, you go into the centers and just kind of dot in the centers and let it dry. And while you're letting that dry, you would go through, oh, let me do one more. Yep. I'm in frame still. Add the dark uh, purple in there, but then with the gold, I'm just going to go and just like kind of just kind of break it up. So where if you have any flaws or any ooh any of this, I don't know why my phone went off of mute like that. Okay, now with my um, glitter. I was going to use I was going to use uh, two millimeter um, pearls that were like a uh, um, color shift, but um, her nails are so tiny, you guys, like really, really tiny. So I'm going to just use um, a little bit of glitter mixed with um, top coat. And that top coat's already dried out, so I can always add more. Boop. I use Dazzle Dry Top Coat, but usually I use um, Wet n Wild to thin down all of my glitters. Wet n Wild's cheaper and it's thinner so mix it that rehydrates it oops sorry so I rehydrate the glitter just enough to get it into the center of the flowers on the end of my brush then I can clear off my brush and then go in with the top the tip of my brush like this and make a little tiny rhinestone and then just pat it down that and then just kind of just dot it 
and that and that just allows you to um, get your your little centers of the flowers so tiny and yet they'll still kind of set, be raised a little teeny bit off of the the nail and still look like they're like a little bit gem like but not all the way um, so so big that it gets on people's nerves um, you'll notice like like in nails that a lot of people either love bling or they don't and and if, if they don't like it they pick it off or it falls off <laughs> they're allergic to it <laughs> and your nails are too dinky mm. poor baby <laughs> look at look at my finger compared to hers this is my pinky <laughs> I was picked before I was ripe. <laughs> you were, you're just so little. My, my guru is a little tiny. So, okay, so then I'm going to top coat and I will meet you back. But this this is a very beautiful design. Oh, hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, these are highly reflective, so I will um, keep the, the, the light down. But I want you to see just how just have to mention these are you could put a, a mat on here and then put the gold over the top and mat it again and that would be beautiful you can add gems or glitter or whatever you want to um, snazz them up you could do this on a French manicure for weddings or if you did this as the bridal with white and then you you did this for all of the bridesmaids in these colors this is a great wedding design in general that will look good on anyone and any skin tone and all of that so I hope you guys try it if you do please tag me hashtag inspired by Robin Moses and um, I will be back with more can you show your thumbs thumbs are important yes there's the thumbs Yay! And you guys, thank you so much. I'll see you back with more. Bye. Bye. Oh, Nan.